cows, sheep, even honeybees, all on display and giving spectators a chance to get up close with the farm animals. For young Thomas, he was one of hundreds of children getting a rare chance to hand feed the lambs. Um, I'm feeding baby um, lambs. But this young boy couldn't keep away from the small farm animals. Only minutes later, we found him holding the guinea pigs. What does it feel like to hold that? Fluffy. Fluffy? These fluffy animals from Arian Farm, a major attraction for the youngsters. Uh, this here's a Jersey Woolly. This is her fully grown size. She's quite fluffy compared to others. But they're not just for the young. Even I couldn't leave without a quick hold of a rabbit. But it's very squirmy on my shoulder. Is it going to do a run? Oh, God. No, no, take it back. This large rabbit, almost too big for the children to hold. But while the young ones were ooing and aahing over the farm animals, at the other side of the yard, it was serious business for the sheep being judged best in show. So the judges have uh, nominated sheep to put forward for all the different classes today, so basically it's the best of the best competing against each other. This woolly hogget's been chosen as one of the best. Its owners have travelled seven hours to see it take out the top prize for Perindale wool. Now it's going up against the other top contenders to take out the overall win. You participate, you come to participate, and uh, yeah, well, it's, that's the bonus, uh, winning, yeah, you don't know, but now it's up against all the other breeds to see who's the top um, bald animal in the, in the uh, show. More than 10% more farmers entering than in previous years. The entries are up in the sheep section, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, the sheep industry is still in very good heart, so that's excellent to see. It's all coming through in the stud breeding. Killing speculation, the sheep industry is dying. The entries are proving it wrong. It's, the sheep industry is in good heart. Sure, there's a lot of dairy cows around, but there's a place for sheep. Dairy cows can't go every, everywhere, obviously, so that's uh, good to see. Once the show has ended tomorrow, more than 1,000 sheep would have been judged, with only a lucky few going home with a prize. Emma Cropper, CTV News.